one click and turn here again ready for another Friday video um, I've taken a break from decorating the dining room um, paint Got loads of it all over the place anyway today's turning is gonna be Sabah Ebony I'm not entirely sure what Sabah is but I know what Ebony is anyway so we're gonna turn ourselves a nice little bowl with this I have had this for uh, quite a long time. Uh, well, it's been, you can tell from the markings, it says £11.64. You probably can't see that, it's in very dark writing there. £11.64 for a lump of ebony like that, it must be about 20, 30 years old, I should imagine. Uh, looking at the wax around the outside as well, probably looks like that. Anyway, here we are. Alright, let's find the centre. And then we'll put ourselves a wormhole in it. Woodworm screw hole. Not a wormhole. Don't want any of those. That'd just be catastrophic. <laughs> anyway. There we are. My, uh, Axminster woodworm chuck thing with spacers. I'm not going to use both of them, I have different spacers depending on the depth of what I'm going to mount. So I'll just... Poor old lathe's looking a bit dirty at the moment. Sorry lathe. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a good fit. It ain't going nowhere. I'm pretty round too, despite its age. Righto, this is what a thousand RPM looks like. And this is what my 5.8's bowl gouge looks like. Let's give it a bit of a truing up. Look at that. Well, you can't really see the grain from that angle. Lovely. Let's face off its bottom. Slightly lower tool rest, I think. My word, that looks pretty spectacular. Been saving that for such a long time. Right, I'm going to give it the, the basic shape. millimeter uh, jaws I'm gonna put a mortise in the bottom so I better change camera angle because I changed for the side work but realized I need to know what sort of base I've got so there we are stand by here we go that's actually quite a deep mortise but that's no problem because I can always shrink the size of the base by a few passes it's detected a split Blech. hopefully we'll turn past that we'll find out soon enough Ladies and gentlemen, let's start making a shape.
Hmm. Split's gone. Awesome. I'm just going to come in from the other direction to try and clean that top up. We've also got a few splits at the top there. Which I'm going to try and remove. Cutting lovely. Okay, and those who know me will know I like to put a small OG on the bottom of things. Um, if only I could find the right tool. Hey, well, sharp tools, fast enough spin, very little end grain tear out at all. So, <coughs> where are we? That was quick. Okay, so here we are. I've turned my lathe down to 500 RPM and I'm going to start sanding at 120. We'll watch a little bit of this, but then I'll take you past it because sanding is a little bit boring, isn't it? Let's remove some of my tools. Okay. Everyone recognise the dulcet tones of my uh, rubbish Stanley Fat Max? So anyway, that's what that looks like. I shall come back. There's a bit of there you can see needs taken out. Anyway, I'll bring you back in a little bit when I've had a fiddle around with me sandy. Alrighty. Let's give it a little wash down with a bit of alcohol. The non-drinking variety. Ugh. What a shame. quite yucky uh, still quite yucky look at that up let's give it a bit more Just shows what's in one of those bits of wood after you finish turning and sanding. That's pretty revolting, isn't it? I'm going to seal it up with a bit of my homebrew shellac only stuff solution. Let's see, see what it does for it. What it has actually done is brought out a couple more cracks. One there, about a centimetre long. One there, one there, one there, about half a centimetre long. So this bowl will lose some depth to lose so that I can lose those cracks. That's a shame. But don't want cracks. Okay I'm gonna let that dry off for 10 minutes or so. I'm gonna go and grab myself a cup of coffee. Lovely coffee. <coughs> anyway, 
We've just got time for a shameless plug, and this is not a paid advert or anything like that. This is me, me plugging myself. Um, I do a little bit of writing as well. I have two books on Amazon. Chalmers War. So Chalmers War is about a guy called Johnny Chalmers, uh, and it's his trip into the First World War as a Royal Flying Corps pilot starts right at the beginning when he's not a pilot all the way through his training, his adventures through the missions uh, and then so it's a light hearted, I like to think a light hearted book um, and you get some good reviews on Amazon it's available in paperback like this or it's available on Kindle so the other book is a much smaller book as you can tell this is uh, a book of 18 short stories based on uh, Form F combat reports which the RAF pilots used to fill out after every sortie. Uh, they're very short uh, reports, sometimes a dozen lines, maybe even not that sometimes, but with salient points of the mission. Uh, and each of those short stories takes that combat report and I filled in the gaps with uh, a bit of dramatisation from my own mind. I've changed the names of the pilots and the squadron numbers so that it preserves the uh, dignity and the privacy of uh, the pilot and their families. Um, but other than that, the actual key points of the story are true. So there's that as well. That's my shameless plug over and done with. Oh, just in case. Uh, I've got a follow-up story of Johnny Chalmers in my head and starting on paper. Uh, and I've also got a um, science fiction one, which is finished. Uh, needs a bit of proofreading, um, but I quite enjoy it. Anyway, plug over. Just going to give it a quick rub with it. You probably can't see that. 400 grit. Pour another bit of 400 grit. As you can see, it raised the grain a little bit, so do me a favour. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on here. I won't lose it. what it's supposed to do. Wow, yes! Beautiful! I bet you can't guess what I'm going to use now. Oh, okay. Bit of true grit. As I uh, pointed out earlier, I've got to lose a little bit off the top of this for the crack, unfortunately. Which I think that might be enough. Let's do some hollowing out. Mmm. Excuse me.
Time for a tickle on the tarmac. And here we are. Okay, not bad. Just going to use my negative rake scraper uh, and give it a little flatten out. Don't normally use one of these, but as I have it, why not try it? Hopefully, um, you can see because I'm not quite sure how much dust is on there. Never really been a, f uh, never really understood negative rake scrapers, um, but I've got one, uh, and it wasn't much cop, so I reground it with the information I could find on the internet, making sure that I got a nice burr on the top surface, which I do. Um, Normally I would use my gouges to get it nice and flat and um, I thought I'd give it a crack. Probably the third time I've used it now. I quite like that. Not bad. So, okay, all's good. Um, not entirely happy with the rim. So I thought I'd give myself a slight inward slope with the rim. Which gives it a little bit of character and form. Nice. Just gonna do a bit of sanding up on the inside, once again, down to 500 RPM. Well, I thought I was going to, but my battery disagrees. Stand by. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you to death with more sanding. You've already seen about a minute's too much of it. I'm going to carry on through up to 320 like I did on the outside. I'll see you in a little bit. In, uh, in just the same way, I'm going to wash the insides out with a bit of alcohol. In just the same way as the outside, we're going to use a bit of the home brew shellac. I forgot to turn the camera on then. We're going to use a bit of true grit. Oi! Then you hate it when that happens. A lovely piece of wood. I noticed that I had a, a couple of bits of torn out end grain so uh, I went to work on it and now it's better.
Oh, I like that. Nice. Look at that. My word. Glorious. In love with that. And for once, a bowl without lots of cracks. Woo! Right. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you uh, uh, have liked what I've done and what I've done in my uh, previous videos. Um, it's a pleasure. I do it all for the love of wood turning. Um, so there we are. Happy days. Another project seen to. Uh, a few more chores to do this week. Hopefully I'll get it edited for Friday. That's my aim. Um, and then some more next week. I think possibly I might re, uh, redo my Christmas tree video because coming up to Christmas, really? Soon be in October, won't we? Uh, and I think a lot of people who have Christmas markets and stalls and stands will uh, like to see what I do with the Christmas tree if you haven't gone back and seen the one from last year. Yeah, anyway, there we are. That's a thought on my mind at the moment. Cheers! In a workshop full of dreams Where the sawdust softly gleams Click and turn our hearts ignite